I mean, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it because that would sum up the last six months perfectly. Well, basically, Contango is a situation where the sentiment is in favor of the price rising than the price is where it stands at the present moment in time. And backwardation, of course, is the exact, uh, exact opposite. Now, tra I'll transfer that into a, a, a real, world, uh, real world example. Back in May, I was sitting on my data terminal and I was wondering, well, look, there is so much oil out there in the market. Why, why is the oil price at $112, $111? What on earth is going on? Why is the oil price in three figures? It just didn't justify it. I mean, I, I, I wrote uh, loads of articles around it. I, I blogged about it. I, I spoke on the airwaves about it. And uh, lo and behold, we had the first, uh, you know, sort of tragic occurrence of IS striking in Iraq. And suddenly, the oil price went up to $115. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. What on earth is still going on? Because if you looked at a map of Iraq at that point in time, you would see that tragic as, as those events were, IS was nowhere near Iraq loads its oil from, i.e. down south from, from Basra. Uh, but the hedge funds must have done a lot of table thumping because the oil price still went up and they were perfectly happy for that particular month. I still made a short call to the market to, to be in decline based on what else was around. Now, my theory was I had spoken to some of the physical uh, traders, the guys who get their hands dirty, the, the chaps who stand at the end of a pipeline in Louisiana waiting to uh, you know, load, their, uh, load their tanker. And these are the actual spot buyers. And this logic of Contango at that point in time, June, just didn't wash with these guys. They looked at what, what these guys call a solver model. Essentially what it is, is that they need to get the oil. They look at their various sources of supply. They look on their data terminal and they, they look at the offer prices. They look at how much who has and what they're willing to sell uh, to me at that particular point in time. And, and they just said, you know, let's, let's go short. And that fed into actual physical traders taught these uh, speculators, these, these hedge funds, a lesson in good old fashioned trading. You see, you know, go back to go beyond the data terminals and you look, perceive the world, uh, the buy side and the sell side. It's a simple case of supply and demand. They made sure that the actual linear supply and demand dynamic over June and July, where, where hedge funds uh, betting long, according to my calculations, were holding around 600 million paper barrels, as we call them. And for that particular contract, when and where that particular contract would mature, they would have to turn up to collect the cargo. Obviously, they were purely speculating on it. Uh, there's been a lot of acetization, uh, you know, of, of, uh, of oil. Um, and what they, they were betting on was, was purely, you know, from, from a profit standpoint. They had no intention of ever letting the contract mature. So come the time when they could not find a buyer at a, at a three-figure price, they had to sell at a loss, at a loss, and there were massive losses. Some of the biggest names in the hedge fund business uh, made some, some substantial losses by betting long over June and July, only for the oil price to, to start plummeting, and for this, this whole supply situation that we were discussing, that there's too much oil, to kick in and, and create backwardation. Around October the 3rd, uh, 2014, I remember level of about uh, uh, in the 90s for Brent, and uh, now, uh, as we speak, in uh, December 2014, we're down to the, the mid-60s for Brent. So we have an over 35% decline in the Brent price. It has, has a bit of way to go. It will fall further before eventually recovering. So reverting back to what you were asking me earlier, uh, a $40 price is, is possible, but then it will immediately trigger a supply correction and then gradually, gradually, gradually uh, the oil price will uh, will start uh, coming up. But I'm glad you asked that question about old-fashioned uh, physical traders uh, treating the uh, the sort of paper traders as they're called uh, uh, a good old-fashioned lesson.